Welcome to myotherapyhealthcare.com. This is Laura Lee. I'm here to share you some tips and ideas on how to be proactive in your own healthcare on a daily basis using natural healing methods. This video is about Dr. Schultz's detox tea. Now he is a nutritional herbalist and an ND, also a natural doctor, and he put together this formula and it's a wonderful thing to detox your whole system. I'm gonna go ahead and read this, what came with the tea, so then you can go ahead and understand how valuable this is. And then you can go to drschultz.com or herbdoc.com and order some detox tea for yourself, or you can make it yourself. Dr. Schultz is more than welcome to share his information far and wide because he does have an idea on to help AMA be accountable for themselves. They're great at emergencies, but the rest of it, it's a lot of collateral damage around using drugs and surgery as a health idea. Anyway, the detox tea is one of the things that we natural healers do is we get rid of the toxins and put in nutrition and then see where we're at from there. So, detoxification tea, digestive detoxification, detoxifying and cleansing tea. Dandelion root, burdock root, cardamom seed, ginger root, potty arco bark, clove bud, fennel seed, licorice root, juniper berries, black peppercorns, erva ursa leaf, horsetail herb, parsley root, orange peel, and cinnamon bark. You can see that's a heck of a combination of herbs. This tea has numerous health effects. It is literally an all-purpose herbal tonic. A tonic strengthens things too. <clears throat> First, it is based on a famous ancient East Indian digestive tea formula. It is a powerful stimulant to the entire digestive process especially the stomach, liver, and digestive side of the pancreas. This tea also cleanses the skin and detoxifies the blood, liver, and gallbladder and is the perfect tea to use after the liver flush. The liver flush, as a side note, is something that you can do with the things that you have at home just to flush out your liver. I'll, I have that in another video. So does Dr. Schultz. It's after the liver flush. It stimulates your liver to produce more bile and then flushes away the bile and fats that congest your liver and gallbladder. It is an immune system tonic and also a mild diuretic and disinfectant to the kidneys and bladder that will cause you to urinate more within an hour after ingestion. This tea is an also an excellent coffee replacement. <clears throat> it is a hot beverage, dark in color, and tastes good. It's even better when a little pure, main, pure maple syrup is added to the brew. It also increases your circulation, but has no caffeine. It is a great solution to help people kick the coffee habit, because it is a bad habit, very hard on your adrenal glands and other systems too. I explained that in another video too. Metabolic action and botanical chemistry. Ginger root, cardamom seed, fennel seed, cinnamon bark, black peppercorns, and clover bud are famous classic digestive herbs. They are extremely effective and have been a part of traditional Chinese, Indian, European, and American herbal medicine for centuries. They are specifics for gas, cramps, colic, bloating, ingestion, indigestion, heartburn, and nausea. They contain essential oils which stimulate all aspects of digestion from saliva excre excretion and digestive juice stimula stimu stimulation to antispasmodic and even stimulate the villi of the small intestines for better assimilation. Villi are these little hair-like things that pull in the nutrition drain out the water. Cardamom seeds roasted in your small intestines. Cardamom seeds, roasted dandelion root, burdock root, and orange peel all stimulate the liver to excrete more bile. Why cardamom has essential oils that cause this liver action, the three later herbs all contain bitter liver stimulation and phytochemicals. Dandelion and burdock also stimulate the kidneys to excrete more urine along with horsetail herb and parsley root. Juniper berries and herb reversa leaf are also diuretics and urinary tract disinfectants. They make you urinate more and destroy urinary infections. Potty arco, inner bark, is a classic South American immune stimulant, and licorice root is soothing and healing to the lining of the entire digestive tract. Now the dosage, I go ahead and make a crock pot of it, throw a handful of it, and then just let it simmer, and then I dip into it um, for three days. And I'll add new herbs to it, to it if I need to um, and just let it sit for three days and then just dump the whole thing out and then start all over again. But the directions here is general cleansing and detoxification, two cups of detoxification tea three times per day. 
Put six tablespoons of detox tea into 60 ounces of distilled water. Distilled water, because it's empty molecule, it'll pull the phytochemicals out of the herb into the water and you drink it. Be sure to use only stainless steel or glass cookware because you don't want any of that stuff in your water. Any of that fancy toxic stuff that's in pans. Let the tea sit in the water overnight. In the morning, heat up up to a boil. Not, not Don't boil it, just up to a boil. Then reduce heat and let simmer for 15 minutes. Strain the herbs, do not discard them. Let the tea cool a bit, but use it hot. This will give you enough tea for six cups for the day. Put the used herbs back into the pot, add three tablespoons of fresh herbs and 60 ounces of distilled water. Let sit overnight and repeat whole process again. Keep adding new herbs to old ones for three days, then discard all herbs and start all over. So there's two different ways of doing that. For a coffee replacement, make as needed, using one to two tablespoons of tea and 20 ounces of distilled water. Bring to a boil, up to a boil, reduce heat and let simmer for 15 minutes. Drink the tea hot. Also, you could have your cup of coffee, whatever you do, your latte, whatever it is, um, and then you can have a cup of tea. And if you have two cups of coffee, then you can have another cup of coffee. And then just sort of stagger it, and then do a half cup of coffee, and then a full cup of tea, and then just stagger it out until you're off the coffee habit. Because believe me, coffee's doing a number on people. There's a chemical in a lot of the coffees uh, that really does a number on people, and it's really bad. It makes you not right in the head, and you, it's not good for you. Anyway, love life and life will love you back. Take care of your health, and we'll see you on the next video. Like and share. Bye-bye for now.